Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Sonny from Yo Nation, or Dupes from the Yo. And I'm here today to review the new Spy Punchline. Um, as most of you guys know, this is Guy Wright's signature yo-yo. Uh, you know, Guy Wright from the letter blue. Crazy ass slacks, whips, grinds, suicides, whatever. Amazing style, amazing flow. And uh, Steve, Scuba Steve, has finally decided to give him a, his signature yo-yo. And... It's something that we've all been waiting for. It's been pretty hyped, and we'll see if it lives up to the hype. Okay, so um, this is a production run punchline I'll be reviewing, so I'll be giving you all the details with that. This is the box it comes in, a uh, nice little white box, cardboard, uh, with a punchline sticker on it. Uh, the punchline does come bubble wrapped inside the box, and the box is also bubble wrapped as well. Um, in addition to the yo-yo, you get a punchline sticker, which is identical to the one on the front, so you can use this for whatever you want to. Um, onto the yo-yo itself, uh, the production run colors are uh, baby blue with a yellow splash, as well as a black with an orange splash. I obviously have the blue and yellow one right here, um, and I'm very pleased with it. It's a very nice shade of blue, light blue, baby blue, whatever, and the yellow is just really sharp and it's really classy. Uh, it's got really nice engravings on it as well. Uh, it's this punchline, just like the sticker here. And it's got a little comic book pow thing, whatever, and comic book dots as well. Uh, maybe you can see it better on this side because there's less splash. Um, yeah, uh, aside from that, uh, the other first thing you should notice is the unusual shape of it. It's very round. And it's very comfortable in your hand, but it just looks really strange. It's got really beefy rounded rims. It's got a step down, sort of like an H shape, and it's got these massive spikes on the end. And uh, it's very unusual, but it's very eye-pleasing at the same time, so it's good. Um, the finish on it, you know, it's anodized with splash, but uh, it's also been prepared by what I think is soda blasting, because it's definitely way too smooth to be bead blasting in my opinion. And uh, I like it a lot better than bead blasting myself to be honest. It feels smooth, grinds well, and it doesn't cut stream. Well, actually I'll, I'll get to that later. Uh, first, uh, right now let me show you the guts of the yo-yo. Ugh, okay. So you can see that's a pretty decently sized axle, so you know, no, 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 that short axle uh, stripping crap, whatever, with the, you know, yo-yo recreation or whatnot. Uh, it's a nice stainless steel axle. Um, the bearing it comes with is a large C-sized yo-yo jam bearing, or fits yo-yo jam. Uh, it comes stock, cleaned, and it spins for a really long time. It's it's really nice. I haven't really, you know, decided I needed to change it or anything. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much the way it got it, the way it is when I got it, and it's just stayed like that ever since because there's been no need to mess with it. Um, for response, it uses uh, Yo Yo Guy silicone stickers, silicone pads, and they get the job done. I haven't felt really a need to rip these out either. They work well, and it was a good choice, Spy. Um, if you don't like them, you can rip them out and put flowable silicone in or some other pads. I believe these look like Yo-Yo Factory K-Pad size, I'm not sure though. Don't take my word on that. But yeah, that is the guts for you. Alright, let me screw this back together. Alright. Um, the spikes on the hub, uh, the spikes on the hubs are nice as well. Uh, they're big and they look pretty sh intimidating but they're actually dulled at the end, rounded off, so you can do monitor tricks, you know, with a pull start or whatever. But, uh, you know, not poke a hole through your fingers at the same time, so it's nice. Um, there is an IRG. It's not very pronounced, but it can get the job done. Um, you know, it's not the best, but it works, and I'm not complaining, you know, especially when the rest of the AO is so good. Um, they do come stock with one yellow highlight, which is uh, Guy's favorite string as well, so it's pretty nice. 
You're a really personal guy, right, Yo-Yo? Uh, okay, so on a throw, these things are, uh, yeah, I'm sure you've heard they're floaty. And this is true, but um, they're not super floaty. Uh, you know, I would call a first run peak or a falcon super floaty. This is definitely not that, which I like better. I mean, if it's too floaty, it's kind of, it kind of loses spin, you know. And this definitely does not do that. Um, when you throw it down, you can definitely feel a very solid thunk at the bottom, but it's definitely not a heavy yo-yo. Once you get it into the air and, st and start doing tricks and popping up and whatnot, you can, you'll instantly realize that this is a, a very nice yo-yo. It's kind of slow, but it's suited towards guys' slow, you know, expressive style. Gives you a nice flow, very flow, flowy. Um, it grinds very well as well. I mean, the soda blasted finish or whatever, it just grinds for forever. The rounded rims, they really help with your palm grind. And uh, when you catch it, the the little H shape, the raised rim and what, whatnot, it, it's just so comfortable. It's not like the Yo-Yo Factory H shape, it's just sharp and doesn't fit very well. I mean, this is just comfortable. It's built to fit your hand. It's so nice. It uh, doesn't vibe at all. It's dead smooth. It's just like the perfect yo-yo. You need to get this. Okay, so now I'll compare it to some other yo-yos in terms of size. And uh, the punchline was described as a full-sized yo-yo, which I find to be a bit misleading because um, I would not call it full-sized at all. I've owned a couple full-sized yo-yos and this is definitely a little smaller. Um, but it's definitely not undersized at all. It's medium-sized, and in my opinion, the perfect size. Not too big, not too small. Very comfortable and very agile. Um, so without further ado, we'll get to the comparisons. So punchline over here, and this is a first run peak. Uh, in terms of dimensions, it should be pretty much identical to the second run peak, so no worries there. Um, so here is a diameter comparison, in which you can see it is definitely slightly bigger than the punchline. So, yeah. Here is a width comparison, however, and you can see the punchline is wider than the uh, peak, so... Uh, yeah, I would definitely say this is a wide yo-yo, and it's a very nice feeling, because it's not like, you know, it's not like pyro-wide, but it's it's really nice. It's big, got a big gap, and, you know, you can easily catch string, you know, for, you know, Kujibo or whatever you want to do. Uh, so yeah, that's the peak. Um, in terms of floatiness, I would say this is much floatier than this, but this doesn't spin for nearly as long as this does. I would take this any day. Okay, next up, we have another full-sized yo-yo. This is the I Love Yo-Yo Leo Pluridon, uh, one of my favorites for a long time. It's such a good yo-yo. Um, well, I would call this full-sized, you know, so we'll compare them. And as you can see, it's also just a hair bigger than the punchline. Uh, with comparison, again, the punchline is wider. So you have a, a, a smaller diameter, but a wider yo-yo, which is nice. Um, here we have a yo-yo effect comparison. This is the Genesis. Uh, definitely full size. I'd say this is the biggest yo-yo I have. So we'll compare them. Diameter-wise, yeah, uh, the Genesis is definitely bigger. And then, with comparison, they look to be almost the same. The punchline is still a little wider. So yeah, that should give you a good idea of what how big the CIO is. Um, I guess I can do a mandatory uh, freehand zero comparison as well, since everyone seems to have one of these. This should give you a good idea. So this is a freehand zero punchline. Uh, free and zero definitely a bigger diameter because it's like a bigger slimline yo-yo. And then here's a squat comparison. As you can see, punchline is definitely almost a centimeter taller than the free and zero. So to give you a good idea of uh, the size of the punchline and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, um, these 
were available at Yo Yo Nation, uh, the Yo Yo Expert, and a bunch of other stores. I mean, those are the I think the only three Amer or I forgot Yo Yo guy as well. So in America, they're in uh, Yo Yo Nation, the Yo 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 guy, and Yo Yo Expert. But I'm pretty sure they're all sold out there. So. Um, these range from 105 to 110 dollars. I don't know if you'll be able to find these at other stores. I know yoyos.co.uk is also sold out of them, but I don't know any other European stores, so you might want to check those out. Um, yeah, the Spy Punchline. It's if you can get one from the buy sell trade. I mean, I highly recommend it. This is hands down my favorite yo-yo for 1A as far as that goes. So yeah, Punchline, get it. Be like Guy Wright.